Sadly, not all of us have a lovely, friendly relationship with the people who live near us. As the Seth Rogen comedy Bad Neighbors proved, sometimes those who live on the same street as us can make our lives hell. But some people have taken it to the next level and sought vengeance on those who have made their lives miserable. These are people who got revenge on their neighbors. Number 15. A Neighbor's Revenge Nobody deserves the frustration that comes with bad neighbors. Something really needs to be done. For one man, that meant some creative thinking was required. This guy's neighbor had a pretty annoying habit of parking in the most awkward places, blocking our hero's car with no chance of escape. Naturally, our driver did what he thought was reasonable to try and get the car moved, leaving notes on the windscreen politely requesting a change. Unsurprisingly, none of this worked. The vehicle kept blocking him in with pretty much no sign of letting up. Frustrated, our hero driver came up with the only solution he could think of, calling the tow truck. Unfortunately, they couldn't accept the job as the parking lot was three stories up, so he took things into his own hands. The next time our guy found his car blocked by this jerk, he grabbed a device he borrowed from the local auto shop, a vehicle positioning jam, and went to work. They used the tool to boost the car up and pushed into a dark corner of the garage, fitting it perfectly between a wall and a pillar. The neighbor could climb in, but he had no chance of getting out. Sweet, sweet justice. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This gang of kids had been causing all manner of trouble for their poor neighbors. Day in, day out, they made his life miserable. But finally, after so long, the guy simply couldn't take it anymore. They had thrown eggs at his house, plastering it in yolk for the 12th time that week. Seeing the kids in their new outfits they had gotten for Christmas, he decided to get his revenge. He drove his car through the muddy water, severely splashing them and ruining their outfits. We can't help but think it was deserved. Comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Loud Neighbors Take it from me, loud neighbors are the worst. Whether they're blasting music at all hours, screaming at video games at 3 in the morning, or just having a good time in the Sicilian fashion, it can get pretty irritating. Finally, we have a solution to the problem, and it all comes from a cartoon. While living in a cheap apartment block, this guy got incredibly frustrated with his loud, loud neighbors. Taking inspiration from old Tom and Jerry cartoons, he came up with a genius way to handle the issue for good. On the day he was due to move out, he strapped 14 alarm clocks to the wall, timing them to go off at 3.30 in the morning. At that moment, he climbed into his car and drove off to his new home, which was hopefully a little quieter. <coughs> Having neighbors can be exhausting, but this is a pretty fun way to handle a problem many of us experience. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to head to the local store to stock up on a few dozen alarm clocks and a megaphone. Number 13. Junk Car Revenge Sometimes it seems like your neighbors are just out to get you. Nothing you can do is welcomed, and pretty much everything you say is taken as a personal offense. When this guy reached the end of his rope, he came up with a very creative way to give the finger to his neighbors. Look at this junk! After moving to his new home in Las Vegas neighborhood, this man apparently got six citations from the homeowners association for the most minor issues. From weeds to a rusty fence, the offenses were kind of ridiculous. According to him, he was reported to the HOA by his neighbors, and he was not about to let this incident slide. He tried to speak with his neighbors, but they were unwilling to cooperate. Naturally, the guy started buying up junk cars wherever he could, preferably ones with rust, flat tires, or just straight up dinged, and leaving them in the middle of the neighborhood. When the news broke, the guy had already spent $1,000 on junk cars for his revenge plot, but he wasn't done. He planned to spend as much as possible, just to drive down the reputation of the neighborhood. Well, you have to admire his commitment to vengeance, right? Number 12. Dog Doer 
You ask any teenager and they'll tell you nothing says vengeance like dog poop. And one Detroit woman apparently agrees, although she apparently thinks the old set poop on fire thing is pretty dated and wasteful. Why burn a bag when you can just, I don't know, smear it on the door? The woman grew tired of cleaning up after her neighbor's dogs and even got video of the pair allowing their pups to poop on her lawn. Naturally, she got tired of the whole ordeal and decided to literally take matters into her own hands. She grabbed a plastic bag, scooped up the poop inside, walked straight up to the door, and smeared it all over their clean door. Her reasoning? You didn't want to clean it up here, you're going to clean it up there. Hard to disagree with uh, that one. The dog owner claimed that the neighbor didn't try and talk to them about the issue, despite the video evidence clearly showing her communicating with them, and even attempted to shift the blame to her. You didn't want to clean it up here, you're cleaning it up there. But I think most people will agree they kind of deserved dog poop on their door. Number 11. Scottish Justice so everybody is in agreement that noisy neighbors a suck. When communication doesn't work, there's only one alternative. Be noisy in return. Apparently, there are also cultural variations of the noisy vengeance, which is kind of awesome. Let's go to Scotland, the land of Braveheart, Haggis, and groundskeeper Willie. After Des complained of his misery with his overly noisy neighbors, he contemplated the ultimate vengeance. With the help of Jenny, he transformed his flat into a cacophony of the worst noise you could ever suffer. Dishwasher, blender, vacuum cleaner, fan, a banging pan, for good measure, bagpipes. Everybody's favorite instrument. While there's no footage of the neighbor's reaction, I don't think we really have to guess what it would have been. A commotion of this magnitude is pretty obvious. It's either a revenge plot or the most bizarre Scottish party. I am all in on the cultural revenge plots, bringing bagpipes in to infuriate the noisy neighbors. chef's kiss, and what's even better is that we could probably all adopt the bagpipes technique. The more tuneless you play, the more annoying it will be. Number 10. Lawn Tag For some people, revenge doesn't have to be an act of retaliation. It can just be an act of pure, unbridled frustration about something their neighbors have done, or in this case, not done. This guy thought it would be funny to remind his neighbors to cut their grass by cutting their grass. I should specify that he didn't cut the grass in the way you'd expect. Kyle had no intention of doing the whole lawn. He had his own motive going on. He wanted to tag his name into the overgrown grass, so he grabbed his own lawnmower and he did it. Within moments, the grass very clearly read, Kyle. I guess garden tagging is a thing now. When the homeowner returned from work, he was clearly amused by what Kyle had done to his grass. And by amused, I mean tolerant. Eventually, the homeowner relented and mowed his lawn. Not that it mattered, the ingrained Kyle didn't come out easily. Chances are it's still there now. One prank seared into the dirt for all eternity. Now that's revenge. Number 9. Residents Destroy Vehicle Communication is key when it comes to disputes with neighbors. Unfortunately, some neighbors just have no interest in cooperating, making it very difficult to resolve issues like this. As a result, some people have an old school way of dealing with problems, destroying it. This guy continually warned his neighbors on the third floor not to use the driveway, which apparently did not belong to them. He was kind enough to give them three strikes, all of which were used up pretty quickly. Rather than waste more time trying to resolve it through discussion, the camera guy came up with a much more fun alternative. He recruited a wrecking crew to inflict true justice on the incriminating car. A huge, blacked out excursion begins driving up against the vehicle, smashing up its front fender pretty bad. But the ordeal didn't end there. A neighbor who saw the whole thing decided he wanted in. Within minutes, the incident turns into a free-for-all, with multiple neighbors arriving in their vehicles to smash the car up with glee. While justice was probably pretty satisfying, nobody got away with it. Those responsible for the smashing were arrested the following day and given years in prison. If they would have just towed the truck, maybe things would have worked out better. Still, they got to smash a car, so that was fun. Number 8. Crow Collar Bird-related pranks, we don't see enough of them. 
but we're very glad when we do. Nothing is more annoying than when your neighbors attract a whole bunch of birds that decide to make noise all day, so why not have a little fun with it? This guy grew so tired of the constant noise of crows that he decided to play the ultimate prank. He purchased a device known as the Crow Caller, quietly setting it up on top of his house and setting it off before hurrying away. Soon he pranked the guy from his own home, watching as the crows began gathering in frankly alarming numbers above the neighbor's house. It's like watching a Hitchcock movie set in rural England. You're destroying everyone's peace, Des! You started again. What? Eventually, the neighbor found the device. While he didn't find it quite as funny as his family did, he seemed to have a good sense of humor about it. When you take inspiration for your pranks from Alfred Hitchcock movies, you have to applaud yourself for ingenuity. I only hope that the neighbor got rid of the birds that were keeping everybody awake at night. If not, sequel? Number 7. The Angry Millionaire what isn't with millionaires and anger issues? They're always so on edge and aggressive about everything. It's crazy. Admittedly, this guy was probably just irritated because the law didn't bend to his whim, despite his vast income. How sad. The video shows Graham Wilden, a millionaire, angrily ripping down his neighbor's fence. Wilden had built a huge 10,000 square foot extension to his home without obtaining the proper planning permission and was ordered to take it down. It's fair to say that he didn't take to the news very well. Rather than comply with the orders, Wilden started ripping the fence apart, throwing pots and other belongings at the homeowner, all while she filmed peacefully and offered great little asides like, just taken back our own land that's rightfully ours by the deeds. Shame to ruin that nice shirt, isn't it? And I say yes it is. It certainly is. There are many four-letter words to describe Wilden, but we'll stick with jerk. He ended up fighting in court for five years to keep his man cave and ended up having to demolish the whole thing. I imagine this video probably didn't help. What an absolute chump. Number 6. A Farmer's Revenge as we've seen time and time again, it doesn't matter how many times you tell people, they're going to do it anyway. This farmer repeatedly tried to warn tourists not to park on his land, yet they never heeded his warnings. Eventually, the farmer grew so tired of this careless ignorance that he decided to teach them a lesson. While all of those families parked up and went off to enjoy a local flea market, the farmer climbed into his tractor and embarked upon what must have been the most satisfying moment of his life. Just watch as this tractor joyfully plows right into the middle of these two rows of parked cars, creating two thick mounds of dirt that nobody wants to drive through. It's a decent bit of revenge, you have to admit. While some were probably less than happy about what the farmer did, they couldn't really complain about it in any official capacity. After all, it's his land. They're the trespassers. The more I think about it, the more genius this whole plan was. Give that farmer a medal. Number 5. Snow Pile Going all the way back to Ozzy Osbourne and his family, bad neighbors are notorious for throwing their junk over the fence. It's kind of the ultimate bad neighbor approach to problems, and it's always satisfying to see revenge and justice served. This neighbor thought it was okay to throw all of their ice and snow over the fence into this guy's garden, creating a huge pile of cold that would take forever to melt. You can understand how that may just get a little annoying, right? Well, as most people would, he reached the end of his rope pretty fast. When the snow was mostly melted, the guy began shoveling it right over the fence and back to its rightful owners in a nice, neat pile. Well, what did they expect would happen? Generosity rewards generosity. Petty behavior like this is pretty difficult to resolve with a conversation. So this was a pretty sweet way of getting revenge on the idiot next door. Sadly, we didn't get to see the reaction of the neighbor. But, you know, it's not like he could say anything. The guy was just returning the snow he was so kindly loaned. Number 4. Target Practice You knew it was coming. If you have an angry neighbor with a gun, things will eventually reach a point of pure chaos. Thankfully, it didn't result in any fatalities or injuries, unless you're factoring in the vehicles, in which case we have a few horribly wounded cars. In Louisville, Kentucky, two neighbors were in the middle of an ongoing dispute about the noise. A 78-year-old man was tired of hearing his upstairs neighbor going about his business and wasn't sure what to do. So he did what any irrational human would do. He grabbed his 22 rifle 
rifle and headed out for some stress relief target practice. The guy unloaded 35 rounds into three parked cars outside, at least one of which didn't even belong to his upstairs neighbor. It's no surprise that he was arrested and charged with three counts of first-degree criminal mischief soon after. First-degree criminal mischief, by the way, is the name of my future autobiography. Thank you. This whole story is bonkers, but it's a pure revenge tale. Of course, it didn't work out so well for the shooter. I imagine prison is a whole lot louder than his neighbor. No cars to shoot either. Number 3. Drone Strike Of all the videos I'm showing you today, I consider this one to be the most creative revenge plot I have ever seen. We've all gotten frustrated by people blaring loud music in the middle of the night. I don't think anybody ever considered this. This guy was so frustrated by the blaring noise that he conceived of the most creative solution. He strapped fireworks to his drone, lit them, and then flew the drone over the top of the street party. In seconds, the drone started firing off fireworks like they were blasters in a sci-fi movie. You can see the party goers fleeing for safety and trying to avoid getting hit by the rogue fireworks. I mean, it's dangerous as all hell and we do not endorse this kind of behavior, but it's a great lesson to them. People don't want to hear your party. As the old saying goes, modern problems require modern solutions. You can't get much more modern than strapping a bunch of fireworks to a drone and hunting down local party goers. That's some Skynet shiz. Number 2. The Fence Sometimes revenge is just uncalled for and is entirely unjustified, no matter how you look at it. The Elizabeth Hahn case is one such instance, an example of someone being needlessly cruel and putting an innocent family in a very dangerous situation. Buffalo resident Elizabeth Hahn was shocked to discover that her new neighbor had set up a large fence inches away from their property. The fence itself blocked what Hahn describes as a vital walkway for her husband, who requires dialysis. If they can't wheel the gurney through the side gate, they can't get the medical care they need, and her husband will die. Despite these very serious stakes, the neighbors will not listen, and the Buffalo Fire Department has determined that the fence is neither legal nor a fire hazard. The mutual agreement she had with the prior neighbor was dismissed with the new resident, leaving them in a pretty horrible situation. Despite Han's efforts to build bridges with her new neighbors, this seems like a pure act of spite. And as I said earlier, not all revenge is justified. Here's hoping the situation will resolve eventually. Number 1. No waste. Nothing drives neighbors apart more than dog poop. For whatever reason, some dog owners seem perfectly content to let their pets poop wherever they feel like it, even if that's on the lawn of an unsuspecting neighbor. One Orange Country resident got so frustrated by the constant barrage of poop on his lawn that he had to take action. His approach was direct and no nonsense, setting up signs reading, I don't want your pet's crap on my lawn. That, by the way, is one of the less obscene signs he put together. Others included more ominous warnings like, I will find you and your little dog too. But this guy was smart enough to know that nobody is going to pay attention to any sign, so he installed cameras, basically forcing people to follow the rules or risk ending up on Judge Judy defending dog poop. And nobody wants that. Despite all the upset about this resident's choice of language, he stands by the sign. And to be fair, I think everybody else does too. If anybody wants the privilege of stepping in poop, I think they may have a problem. Which act of vengeance did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!